And again, this is much, much more easier, much more elegant than using an AM signal. Um, and so remember we, our phase modulated signal PM of T is our symbol stream. So just minus ones, plus ones, for example, and multiplied by the carrier 2 pi FCT. And um, so this was our transmitter. So if we have our S of T and this as a diagram, then we multiply it in this with the carrier frequency. And then we transmitted this through our channel. So in this case, let's just assume the channel is just unity. And so, so what do we do on the, on the receiver? So if this is our receiver here, and we would like to have our S of T's back. So how do we do, how do we do that? And the solution to that is, um, is very, very simple. So here we've got our phase modulated signal here. And um, so what we do is we just, again, using a multiplier and multiply this with our carrier frequency FC. And so why is this, this a good idea? Um, so remember our PM, PM signal is, let's write this down here. So our PM signal is, is composed out of the carrier, cosine 2 pi FCT multiplied by our simple sequence S of T. And so now this is our carrier here, so FC. And so now we do just the same again. So we multiply this again with cosine 2 pi FCT. Yeah, so this is our our signal PM of T. And then we just multiply that with with this term here. And so the, the result is obviously that we have here at the output S of T and then multiplied cosine 2 pi FCT and then multiplied again with cosine 2 pi FCT. Oh, there's a T missing. So the the question is why is why is that um, a good solution? So our receiver, so our we've got the term S of T multiplied by cosine 2 pi FCT multiplied by cosine 2 pi FCT. Obviously, we could just square that, but um, we could also remember this following equation from high school cosine beta or beta. This is equals to half of cosine alpha plus beta plus cosine alpha minus beta. So this is uh, quite a handy equation. I should just write here again receiver. Receiver continued. And so with that, with that equation, we can rewrite this here, that um, we have essentially half S of T, less than one term, plus half cosine of 4 pi 
FCT. And so the output of our multiplier here, so if I just draw this um, diagram again here, so we've got our phase modulated signal, so we multiply this with our carrier, and the output is the following, that we are getting back our, our symbols, so we are recovering the, the baseband. Yeah, so we have, if you think of this in frequencies here, this output, then what we are getting is here, this is our baseband, and then we have a term here which is two times the carrier frequency. So this is here 2, two FC. So the only thing what we need to do is then is just to get the baseband back is we need to, to add a low pass filter. Yeah, so if we if this is here a low pass filter low pass filter then we're getting our baseband back. So the only thing what we need to do is filter this here by a low pass and then the output is our S of T again. So very elegant solution. So then the whole receiver receiver, so if this is our phase modulated signal, again we're using using again the multiplier. So we send our carrier frequency in there and we do a low pass. Low, low pass filter at approximately FC with the cutoff frequency and then the output is our S of T. Obviously this is still continuous in order to make our decision here we need to we need to somehow sample this and then decide if it's our S0 or S1 and with that we have recovered our bitstream. So now we can do this um, in our Octave MATLAB program and see if we are able to recover our Pac-Man again.